Welcome back to the series on uh, questions and answers on Trignosis program. Today we'll take some questions on the topic of illusion. This was introduced in the Trignosis program, although not very thoroughly, but uh, a broad idea was given. What is illusion? How to find out if something is illusion? What kind of uh, rational and logical process is used to determine what is an illusion justification for it etc so those who are watching this video if you have not seen the first part the basic diagnosis program then please go and watch that otherwise these questions and answers are not really meaningful illusion means that which is false and that which is non essential that which keeps changing impermanent also that which is manifested that which is experienced these all words point to the same thing in short we call it illusion this word is chosen knowingly to remind the student that we are not talking about the truth the truth is you so obviously the natural question arises then what is the rest that which is appearing here sometimes we say appearance also which also means illusion sanskrit word is maya or mithya or asat so do not confuse between all these words they all mean the existence which is appearing so the first question is which experience is true and when and how will it happen this shows a little bit of shallow thinking probably it was heard that whatever we see from uh, our senses whatever we think whatever we feel it is all an illusion they are all appearances nothing is true there and then it was also said that you can take any experience of any kind and that will also fall under the category of illusion it does not matter what kind of experience it is physical senses bodily senses mental senses or non physical senses or you can imagine anything else which uh, mediates experience and it will be totally false so probably the later part was overlooked and only the first part where we say that right now whatever you are looking at is illusion so after some thinking the student must be imagining probably there is some experience which will be true probably it will happen in future or probably it will happen when i progress spiritually or it, it some kind of miracle will happen and i'll see the truth so there is a bad news that uh, if you can see it it is being produced by the mind it is being mediated by the senses of any kind and then it will be changing it will be an experience and so it will be an illusion so there is no specific experience which is true all of them are false if you don't believe me you can take any example imaginary or real although it's not called real here that which is directly seen or you can imagine something and always the conclusion will be that it is a changing experience so it is an illusion remember that only that which changes can be experienced and all that which changes will be form and name and so illusion will be mind created so there is a belief here that experience of truth is possible or truth is some kind of special experience which i can get doing some practices or by hook or crook but uh, that is complete ignorance you are the truth truth is known by being the truth not by seeing so that is why we provide the teaching of self first to avoid this kind of confusion once it is established who am i what am i then everything else becomes false or illusion automatically number 2 which sense shows the truth and again probably it was heard that whatever comes through the senses is illusory and so a specific or special kind of sense is imagined which will finally show me the truth so try to understand that if a sense is involved it is illusion by necessity that which cannot be sensed but still exists that which is not an object of any sense is you only you are known without any sensory intervention think about this 
and whatever sense you imagine worldly bodily mechanical magical they are all going to show you the faults it is very interesting that we can see something at all that is the courtesy of senses if you remove the senses nothing is seen nothing is known so they are faults yes they provide some kind of illusion only but they are extremely useful without them this organism will not survive even for a minute if you can't see around you can't hear death is certain if the body does not tell you when this body is hungry or thirsty or some pain in the body death is minutes away similarly if the mental senses do not convey states of the mind it is a lifeless life so the function of the senses is not to show you the truth the function is to keep you alive and the whole life is false so there is absolutely no problem that they show us only a picture of the existence not the real existence the real part of the existence is the experiencer or the witness of whatever pictures are being produced by the senses or the mind can senses detect something which is absolutely stationary where there is absolutely no kind of change no kind of energy exchange remember energy means change only the intensity of change and the answer is no so senses react only to change and all that changes is false is illusion not only they detect change they transform that changing phenomena changing uh, signals into something that can be understood by this creature something meaningful and limited what is out there will never be known what is out there is also you it is all happening on the screen of the experiencer some people will say but yes they are capturing something the senses are reacting to something and that something must be true yes it is you and you cannot be seen and the you or the experiencer is simply a sea of potentials there is absolutely nothing there which changes but there is infinite potential there to appear as anything and exactly that is being conveyed by the senses so the senses show you the truth but not in a way that you understand they are showing there is something now it is your job to know what it is do not simply assume that whatever is being shown is the truth so yeah the illusion is there illusion of what that is the big question and the answer comes out to be it is the existence only it is the emptiness only however seen as illusory and limited thanks to senses otherwise even that was not possible because there is nothing at all which is real and which can be grasped in the existence so how will i know that uh, whatever is being seen is me and all that is called the knowledge of oneness and that is also covered in trignosis and uh, covered in detail in the essence of knowledge program those who are curious can study that further right now you should know that senses will never show the truth any kind of sense and this is a belief that if probably somehow somewhere some magical sense will be there where the truth will be known no impossible discarding the sense patterns appearances discarding the sense data will provide you the truth negating the senses bring you to the truth that is the one who is witnessing whatever the senses are producing number 3 if my food is false then how am i alive why is there a question this is interesting because uh, probably it was heard that everything is false except you but the self knowledge was forgotten a probably never heard this is a case of half knowledge partial knowledge so this shows that simply listening one or two sentences from here and there will not make you wise it will probably make you look like a fool systematic study step by step study of the non dual philosophy is necessary so first know who you are is before talking about who is alive who is not and uh, here the word i is pointing to this body mind machine which needs food obviously it is made up of food matter so if the food is false then uh, how come it is alive this is the question probably the student knows that uh, i am not this body mind but still cannot understand how can something false 
keep something true, alive. Now that which is alive, this body-mind creature, is also an experience, changing experience. So it is also false. The food and the organism are one, part of one big process of metabolism. This whole thing is changing appearance. So probably the organism was assumed as the truth and uh, still there is some identification with the organism. That is why this question arose. So the body is sustained by food, but the body itself is completely false. It is an object. Same way, the mind and mental processes are supported by the body. Without food, they are not there probably. So the whole organism or the person is false. That which on which it survives, air, water, food, environment, world, everything is false. It is one mechanical system. Whole of it is false. It is not that one part is false, but the other parts that depend on the, that are true. Remember, whole of the experience is false. Number four, experiences change. But I remember what it was. So whatever it was at that time was true. So the argument here is very simple, but very logical. That uh, if something is, is an illusion, and it is called an illusion because it changed, it is gone. But wait a minute, I still remember that it was there. So when it was happening, it was actually real. Now it is gone. How do I know it was real? Because I remember it. If it were totally false, there was no question of even knowing it or remembering it. So it must have happened. Its happening is true. At least that is true. Probably the colors and shapes and sounds it produced were completely illusions, but it happened. So it must be true. Something about it must be true. And because I can remember it happened, some of its aspect must be true. And that is a more sophisticated way of asking this question. So memory is simply impressions on the mind. Something changes, these changes are picked up by the senses and they are impressed on the memory. It is like footprints are impressed on wet sand. So remember the memory changed. It, there was nothing there, now something is there. That's all has happened. It is just one process of forming an impression. So the complete thing is false. Something happening, senses picking, impression forming. This is one system. There are not three separate things here. And all of it are illusory. Complete illusion. Will the memory remain forever? No, it also changes. It does not matter how you define memory or how you imagine it is working. You can say it is uh, some kind of structure in the brain. You can say it is some kind of pattern in the brain, electrical pattern. Or you can assume some metaphysical substrate. But since it is malleable, otherwise nothing could have impressed on it. That means it is changeable. It changes and uh, therefore it is false. Something does not become true, an event will not become true simply because an impression of it was formed somewhere. So does the memory change? Yes, it is forgotten, it is erased after a while. Some memories can last for a long time, many years, fortunately or unfortunately. And they give us an appearance of truth that it really happened, I remember this happened. Remove the memory, what happened? What did not happen? You are still there, the witness of remembering and forgetting. But what about the events? They are totally dependent on the memory for their reality. So what kind of experience is a memory? Whatever is happening currently, in the present, is false. And when a picture of it or an image of it is impressed in the memory, it is an image of the false. That means it is doubly false. If something got impressed on the memory, that makes it double illusion. Now you are recalling that image somewhere in the memory. So it is not an event which is present in front of you. It is being grasped by the mental senses. What is being grasped? Some shadow of the actual event. So what you are recalling is actually double illusion. It is a photo of the photo, you can say. Plus, depending on the creature and the makeup of the creature, and the processes in the mind, absolutely anything can be stored in the memory. An event happens, one person can store it as a pleasant event, 
another one can uh, store it as painful event that must be your own experience for one kind of creature whatever is was seen was is stored in some other format and for some other creature the format of storage is completely different so it is already unreliable not trustworthy and when it is recalled anything can be recalled depending on the distortions in the memory anything can be stored anything can be recalled can we call it truth so there is a belief here that uh, whatever happened i don't know what it was but it happened because i remember it it must be true if you remember it it is doubly false if something is happening in front of you right now it is direct perception you can say it is true for practical purposes remember whole of your life is memory if you remove the memory the person is not there so whole of your life is not only illusion it is double illusion it is doubly false it is amazing that this creature lives under so many layers of falsehood not one number 5 is death an inevitable truth and this question arises because it is certain at least for human beings in the present time 2024 although it is not a law because uh, it is not found everywhere in this manifestation but in this part of the manifestation death is certain so is it true because it does happen so remember that death is defined as destruction of the body complete destruction so that it cannot be brought back to life burning or decay of the body complete what is body collection of matter accumulation of matter in a specific structure what is death of the body it's the breaking of that structure it is a change so it is going to happen but it will be a change and anything which changes is already false change is going to happen yes some or the other actually the body is keep changing from childhood to the old age it starts from a single cell so you can obviously see the change happening so every day there is a death because the old one is gone and the final death is when everything is gone it cannot continue that process of reconstruction of the structure it is broken so the change is continuous change itself has not changed but the body has changed so yes the change never goes away it is a continuous stream the illusion is persistent but the things that are that appear are not they are impermanent but there will be always change so death is a form of change birth is a form of change there will be always these kind of events in the existence sometimes the change is very quick sometimes it is very slow that gives us an illusion that it is true so if an event is bound to happen will not make it true it is a part of the change only event means a change something happened something appeared then it disappeared so sun is going to rise tomorrow it sounds absolutely true yes but no the night change into day that's all has happened but it happens again and again and again will that make it true and that is your homework number 6 if bad experiences are false then how can there be sorrow or suffering so this question is uh, very important because when we say that all experiences are false how can any experience give me happiness or sorrow suffering pain if it is false it should not have any effect on the mind so some kind of logical error here because the states of the mind are also false it is simply reaction of the mind to the situation your happiness and your suffering is completely false all emotions are false yes if you derive your sense of self from mental activities then you will call it true but i am not the mind these events happen in the mind and they are simply reactions to something happening in the body or in the world or interactions with people etc so your happiness is false your suffering is false nothing to worry your worries are also false no experience is good no experience is bad they are colored by the mind depending on the desire that is in the mind your true nature is not all these things that are happening in the mind your true nature is the witness of all these things which is blissful and peaceful so it does not matter what kind of label the mind attaches to the events that happen mental or physical 
you are not affected you are still in the same bliss and peace yes it all looks so beautiful when you talk and uh, when it is written in the books but the reality is something else i am suffering i am i want happiness I, so this kind of mind or person has not awakened to to their true nature obviously so there is absolutely no advantage in uh, giving this teaching at the time when the person is suffering or when he is happy the teaching will not be received there is no opening there so we wait for the mind to calm down for the event to be over and the reactions to be over and then it is possible if the person is receptive then it can be shown that whatever happened was illusion but while it is happening yes these teachings sound bookish knowledge that is absolutely perfect that is how it should be this creature must forget about the illusion etc and must react or act to survive to counter the problem to solve the problem that is most necessary at the time not that this is illusion but yes the suffering can be erased from the mind by this teaching that whatever happened happened it did not happen to you and it was illusion nothing was really lost nothing was gained if you are happy if you think you are happy well enjoy it is going to go away and uh, nothing was really gained you did not get happiness you are always the same so it positions the mind in the center you come back in the center again and again and if this practice is done for long periods of time then uh, the mind will not deviate too much it will react and it will produce all these emotions and all which is not a big problem it is actually the nature of the mind it is doing what it is designed to do it is evolved to behave like this which is perfectly okay but uh, the indulgence will be reduced that is called equanimity samadhi it does not matter where the mind sits in the center or in the extremes it is still an illusion the state of the mind that you have achieved after prolonged practice is also illusion however it is a good illusion however it is not that dramatic it has matured to a good point it is progressed we call it spiritual progress so this creature does not care if it is an illusion it says i want good illusion i don't want to be carried away like a dry leaf in the wind of this river of illusion i want some stability of course you can have it but it's not a big deal it is, that is also illusory the creature is happy <laughs> because it has achieved something you are already perfect you don't need any kind of achievement you are whole and complete already so you can do it as a play to keep this creature happy for a while or not happy peaceful for a while then it disappears in the river of illusion it also gained nothing and it also lost nothing number 7 if this life is false then should i commit suicide obviously <laughs> it is your own uh, kingdom do whatever you want but uh, do not murder the teachings at least somebody heard it oh, your life is false this creature is false and obviously the knowledge is not complete here nothing was really understood only heard so any half intelligent person will say oh, then there is no advantage in this life there is no point in living then so your killing this body mind will also be an illusory event it does not become true because somebody dies it does not become true if somebody came to know that it is false death is simply a change so there is no death it is an illusion so what will you do if you end this life you will simply add to the illusion nothing more will happen and if you remain in this kind of ignorance this creature if remember the creature has the ignorance not you then this dream will become a nightmare this dream become a bad dream so if it is false why it is there yes that is a better question and we are lucky to choose our own use of this life which has appeared here it is an appearance if you want to use it for something we are free to do it use it for something good something beautiful it will end anyway so using it for uh, something nice is wisdom 
ending it thinking that it is not true is stupidity so there is a belief here that if it is not true it is not useful it is it can be thrown away for example a uh, fake coin not useful is fake or for example a uh, cheap copy of a product worth throwing away so is your life like this some kind of cheap and fake copy of something real and that is uh, not the teaching actually there is nothing else except the illusion it is not a copy of something which is true in the end it is also you like i said they are one experience and experience are one so can you throw away yourself is impossible the wisdom is to accept the illusion as a changing part of yourself if you don't like these words false or illusory or maya don't use those words if they bring bad feelings in you accept everything as impermanent and changing this is how it is be neutral about it instead of forming a natural concepts about this thing so remember everything is false however that does not make it useless it is useful and you need to decide for what you want to use it and the decision has been made already for a seeker the seeker wants to use this life for knowledge for wisdom for progress fully knowing it is a play it is illusion we make use of the illusion also because there is nothing else in existence and what is a misuse yes not knowing it and coming up with this kind of question it means the life illusory or real has been wasted number 8 who created illusion we have discussed this thing in the previous parts the creation means a change who means a person or any kind of entity which will be an experience manifestation of some kind so this whole thing becomes illusion at creation always means some kind of change so changes happen yes if they are being done by an agency that needs to be a changing thing otherwise cannot produce a change and so there is no creator of the illusion why will somebody create something fake and false so it seems that uh, one change is being produced by another change or another agency one thing is causing another thing if there is construction organization we call it creation if there is disorganization destruction but uh, eventually it is the river of change so the creator will also be something false and our belief that one thing is causing another thing is simply belief it is simply some kind of systematic change it appears that things are getting created but they are getting organized or are disorganized impermanence means that ultimately nothing gets created and nothing gets destroyed nothing got created so the belief here is there must be some reason for this experience and that comes from the very natural instinct of the mind to find a reason for any event so he has the reason is applicable in a narrow range of human life who created your table who created your chair who created your tv who cooked your food that comes under the domain of the reason or creators creation not the whole it is uncreated some change or some creation or destruction implies it is happening in time but the whole or the existence is timeless time also appears it is not true so nothing can happen nothing can be created number 9 objects change yet they exist how can they be false just by being temporary and this is a very logical question that you are calling something false because it changed it changes but it is existing as a changing thing even if it changes it is there so very good question actually you need to go a little bit deeper that in the idea of an object what is an object simply the shapes colors sounds taste smell touch by all these means we know that there is an object is there anything really there there is changing potential which is appearing as the sense perception that is what is called an object so even if it is there in a changing form it is already an illusion object is a concept what is there is change so you can again see that it is a double illusion 
let us imagine an object which does not change it's impossible to find that kind of object but imagine now just because it is seen you can conclude that it is an illusion because completely created by senses and the mind it appears even though it is not changing you can relax that criteria still it is an appearance it is an illusion it is impossible that it is not changing apparently it is not changing in a gross way it is not evaporating in smoke but uh, it is reacting to the light which means change light is a change you tap on it it produces sound which means it is vibrating it is a change ultimately there is nothing there or if you cannot accept this thing that it is nothing you can say it is not that which it appears to be which is the exact meaning of the word maya or illusion it is not that which you think it is what is it then find out everything comes out to be you if you assume these things as true you will never reach the truth they are a blockage on your path to yourself which is the truth final truth there is another argument that objects are not really objects even if they change or don't change does not matter it is because they are seen differently by different pe- uh, people and different creatures for example a honey bee is going to see an object completely differently given there are hundreds of eyes on that creature if you can imagine some kind of alien creature they are going to see something different even people humans do not see the things as same it must be your own experience the one who knows the value of gold will see a golden object differently but one who does not know that gold is costly will see it as a toy or something which can be used for something like a stopper for the window or a support for the broken leg of their table they will put it there gold object how is it possible a dead animal which is cut down into pieces is food for somebody and it is a disgusting sight for somebody else how is it possible the more subtle the experience is the more differences are seen and that is true for beauty and love and these kind of things also everybody perceives everything differently yes there are some common things in perception about which people agree stone is a stone a brick is brick gold is gold yes but simply agreement does not mean that they are real that is why we call whatever appears as a consensus reality sometimes we call it consensus illusion because there is an agreement that what about what is appearing it will break down very soon as soon as the senses changes or the brains change or the minds that interpret the qualities that are perceived through the senses change or the concepts and emotions and experiences memories associated with those impressions if they are different if they change for example your wife does not look so beautiful after 10 years of marriage although nothing has changed much in the wife but you have changed so is she not beautiful we don't know <laughs> but this is a change in the perception probably not an object so if there are so many interpretations of what is being seen which one of it is true if something changes quickly it is called false nobody believes it if i give you 1 million dollars and they disappear in 2 minutes in front of your eyes you are not going to call it true it will be an illusion obviously trick of some kind however these men one million can last for 10 years or 20 years and disappear slowly because eventually they are expended then you are going to call it the truth i am a billionaire the same thing happened but it happened slowly illusion of permanence is produced by the memory memory is false doubly false shadow so the belief here is it does not matter if it changes there is something there which remains in that object the essential thing which will never change so it is the truth you must know that the illusion is a complete illusion it is not a partial illusion it is not a tiny tiny illusion it is a mega illusion it is not that some part of it is being presented as illusion while some part of it is true no it is complete illusion that part of the existence which is true is you not this body mind you the essence 
Number 10. Will there be experiences of truth after death? And uh, that sounds like many other questions already discussed. Some people have this belief that uh, I heard that this world is false. Many great people call it false. Scientists also say it is all false. When we when I leave this world finally after death the truth will be shown to me. I have a bad news that death itself never happens. It is an illusion. What are you waiting for? So if at all there is some kind of experience after death it will be again experience it will be again some kind of illusion. So it does not matter what changes into what. Body changes into dirt and smoke. Mind changes into memory and smoke, non-physical smoke. The illusion will not change. The illusion remains illusion. Death and birth are events happening in the illusion. Simply, one kind of change does not produce truth. A change always produces another change, so it will be illusion. So the belief here is a very, very classic belief that the body and the world are false, but the after world and after life is true. It is a bigger illusion than this one. If at all it is there, we don't know. The honest answer is always we don't know. But there is no hurry. You will find out. So we'll conclude here the questions about the illusion. And in the next part, I'll take questions about oneness. Thank you everybody for listening.